Hey guys, we're doing a little low light test here at the uh, Samsung Epic. You're going to see me use this a little bit um, just for testing purposes, but this video is going to be uh, a P90X update. And the update is we're done. <laughs> 90 days is done. This is going to be week 12 and 13. Um, we got uh, pretty much everything done. I didn't do an update at the end of 12 uh, scheduling. I just I haven't really been around you in those. I haven't really uh, done any videos or anything lately. And then 13, it was just a rest week. And uh, my sister actually kind of teased me. She's like, hey, you know, yoga is the last day. He's like, She's like, do you really think you're going to actually do yoga the last day? And I kind of chuckled to myself. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, the last day comes. She goes, are you doing yoga? I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it. So, she starts up the DVD, well, she surprised me, she put in plyometrics, and I've done that before, uh, previously, but she hadn't, and uh, she kind of wanted to see what the more intense side, it was one of the only ones we really didn't get to on the P90X 90 Day Lean version, and uh, yeah, she was uh, a little bit surprised, she was actually looking for... Uh, I think it's Insanity. There's a couple other very uh, high intensity interval uh, training type videos out there. Um, haven't decided whether I'll do um, pictures. I've taken the pictures. Haven't really decided whether I'm going to share them with you or not. Uh, the only thing really left in question now is, as I mentioned before, I'm going to take a little bit of break. Um, I might do some camping. Um, but the flip side of that is if I can work out all the details of the Pacific Crest Trail, I'm trying to figure out whether it's feasible, mostly financially. Obviously, you guys know I have a bit of free time on my hands, and I'll get into that in another video with an update. Um, and you'll have to excuse the, the sniffling. I, uh, well, that works pretty good. I've got a, uh, a lot of trees to process into small pieces, and most of them are juniper, and I'm allergic to juniper, and they're, uh, just loaded with pollen right now so I've got my allergies going already which is uh, kind of driving me nuts but anyway getting off subject with the P90X um, if I can get the Pacific Crest Trail stuff all nailed down to where it looks like it's feasible um, then more than likely I'm gonna do more of the weight workouts of P90X like if Monday is arms and back I'll, I'll do arms and back if the next day is cardio or core or one of the cardio workouts um, I'm probably gonna go on training hikes uh, we'll load up the back pack with you know 20, 30 pounds, and I'm just going to start hiking. Um, I'll probably get rides with friends or family uh, into other towns, and then hike home. Um, and I'll take you guys along if that's something that works out. Uh, with that, uh, I guess I'll leave it for the update. But uh, you'll probably see me going through my gear. I'm going to do some updating on uh, some of my ultralight hiking gear. So. Uh, if you guys have any questions about P90X stuff, um, I certainly, like I mentioned before, I re really recommend you guys doing lean. And my sister thought it was kind of funny. The lean is, not I don't believe, isn't really, it is more cardio than weights. So you will tone down more than build muscle. Um, but the lean, to me, is designed as more of a warm-up to the regular P90X. It's designed as a sustainment set of DVDs. So once you do P90X, if you just kind of want to maintain and sustain uh, that body level and not get any crazier, um, I think the lean version is kind of the way to go. It's a lot of yoga, uh, core, cardio, um, that kind of stuff without going too crazy. Now you do a lot of the other exercises, but it'll maybe just be one day a week. Uh, maybe this week you do arms and back, and then you do cardio, core, yoga, a bunch of other stuff. Next week you do legs, cardio, core, yoga, and all this stuff. So you kind of only get your uh, the other stuff once a week. Did I like it? Absolutely. I loved it. Even though the numbers, uh, the weight's about the, what I showed you guys uh, at the beginning of phase two, about 315. Um, I, I know I lost most of the kind of the early weight. Uh, when I didn't even have a scale, uh, so that probably doesn't really count. But I've kind of fluctuated between 315 and 320, and I've gone around 35% body fat. So I still have a ways to go. Um, this time I may enter in a little bit more of the diet side. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I definitely enjoy it. I'm definitely going to continue doing it. And uh, I recommend it to a lot of you guys out there. Uh, the only DVD that's longer than an hour uh, is yoga. And so, you know. Uh, it's really just an hour out of the day and uh, it's 
not super intense. Um, I'm not going to say you're not sore at the end or anything, but you are able to push as hard as you want to. And means you're, you're going to get out of it as much as you put into it. Uh, so if you push yourself to the limit to where you're sore and aching, you're going to get more results. Um, and I sort of walked that line as best I could where I was definitely, you know, sucking wind uh, when I was doing some of the stuff, but I didn't do it to the point where I was killing myself. And more of that was just I want to do it, uh, keep doing it. I didn't want to really hate the idea of working out. Um, so I probably could have gotten better results if I really just killed myself through this 90 days, but that wasn't the point. I'm trying to in inspire people and trying to change the lifestyle and incorporate exercise into my daily life. And I don't want it to be a negative thing. I don't want to, you know, be dreading the fact that I have to work out today. Um, you know, the, I think the biggest downside is I'm not used to taking an hour out of my day uh, to exercise. Um, you know, I wake up, I cook breakfast, you know, you do a little bit of cleaning or whatever. And, you know, it's it's taking an hour out of your day. So it, it is, I don't know, uh, you just have to get used to that and work around it schedule-wise. Um, and that is hard for a lot of people to find time of the day. You wake up, you get your kids off to school, you go to work, you come home, you fix dinner, you cook, you clean, do laundry, you get the kids to bed, and, you know, veg in front of the TV, really, to try and relax. A lot of people really aren't going to push themselves and take that hour. Um, with that, I also recommend working in the morning. Uh, a couple times that we had to wait till my sister's schedule allowed us, and so we worked out of the evenings. Uh, I really didn't enjoy that. I like waking up, um, you know, wearing t-shirts and shorts in, in the house and just putting on some workout shoes, stretching, going right into the workout, taking a shower and then starting my day. Uh, it's just for whatever reason, it's a mental thing with me, but it, it's, it's just kind of annoying to stop in the middle of your day, put on workout, uh, you know, a tire, get into the workout mode and then take a second shower of the day. Um, I don't know. I just don't find that to be convenient at all. Uh, so I would recommend working out in the morning. If you have to get up an hour early before you normally do to cook breakfast um, for the kids before everyone's up, you can certainly you know get the workouts done. Uh, it is nice to put uh, the workouts onto what they call just like voice and cue or music and cue. Uh, instead of listening to Tony through all the workouts that you basically have memorized by now when you go through them, uh, the cues, the only audible voice will be him saying, okay, left side, okay, now 15 okay you know it's it's a little bit better that way and uh i'm gonna quit rambling and i will probably when i do the next set of p90x 90 days i will not do weekly updates um i told you guys i would uh for this set and so i stuck with it um i also wanted to do it to provide some sort of a vlog of the p90x through uh you know proof on youtube there were so many people that i was looking at on youtube and it would be like day one day two and you know and then they'd kind of just disappear and they'd stop doing it and so my promise to you guys was i was going to give you a weekly update um i don't think they're terribly exciting for you guys to go through especially because you're not seeing anything you're just kind of hearing my voice of my update uh, so I'll probably only do maybe like phase one update or phase two update. Uh, the updates will be less occurring. Uh, certainly if you guys have questions and stuff, you can always call me uh, or <laughs> text me, whatever it is. And uh, this camera doesn't do too bad on low light, but from what's registering through here, it's kind of slow and blurry. But uh, I did find that the uh, cold steel machete over there works wonders for trimming off the small little annoying clusters of juniper out there. Uh, a whole lot easier than using an axe. And that thing is only the cheap machete. So anyway, I'm getting off the P90X. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks for all the support. Keep pushing play. And we'll see you in the next 90 days.